Welcome to our prayer time. Tonight we're continuing our journey through the Sermon on the Mount and we are at Matthew 5, 27 through 32. Not easy scriptures to pray for this week. Those scriptures are about adultery and divorce. But sometimes we have to pray about the hard things, the difficult things, the rough things. So hear these words from Matthew. You have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right hand, eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away, it is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown in hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away, it is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that anyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. So I invite you to close your eyes and to take a deep breath, to let go of all that tension in your body, all that energy and worry. I invite you to breathe in and to breathe out. I invite you to let go of all that's in your heart and to rest in God's stillness and presence and peace. God, relationships are complicated. You tell us today about how complicated relationships can be. They have the power to wound and hurt us. They have the power to make us content and happy. God, we stop to pray for our relationships. Help us to learn to see the beauty and worth of the ones we love. Help us to let go of those things we were taught about love don't lead to seeing and accepting another. God, for the relationship that is in pain right now, help the families find the right answers that lead to healing and wholeness. For some, that means seeking counseling and learning more about ourselves so we can be better partners. For others, it means letting go of a relationship that brings more pain than love. Help those who are in abusive relationships find a safe way to leave and a healthy place to land. For those families going through a divorce, help the parents remember the pain this brings to their children and be there for them and help them to nurture a relationship with their other parent. God, there are some of us who have been harmed by the way church speaks about relationships, whether keeping women submissive to husbands or LGBTQIA people from knowing their wholeness and beauty. Help us to find healing and wholeness that is based not on some idea that doesn't come from you, but is based in love. God, we stop here and pray for our world, our friends, and our family. Comfort those who are grieving. Bring healing to those who are sick. Bring freedom to those who are oppressed. And bring food and shelter to the poor. God, may your will be done. May your will be done. May heaven and earth be brought closer together. Amen. <laughs>